this clip is about writing a story. When you're writing a story, your best friends are either a pen and paper or your fingers and a keyboard. Now we're getting electronic with it, so you have Palm Pilots and other places that you can write a story, but you have to be prepared. So you always gotta go, you always have to travel with a pen and even a notepad. Even if you're an on-camera reporter, you always have to be able to take notes. Also, micro recorders work too. When you're writing a story, you obviously want to get the who, what, where, when, and the how. But the key to successful storytelling is telling the audience something that they don't already know. It's not enough for me to tell you that Coach K is one of the most successful coaches in the history of college basketball. It's not new information if I tell you that Bobby Knight has a temper. So I have to tell you why Bobby Knight has a temper. I have to tell you why in 1983 this happened and Bobby Knight's been mad ever since. Tell the audience something that they don't know when you're writing a story. When you're writing an introduction to a story, you want to tease them. You want to you know, bring them along slowly. You kind of want to leave gold coins. That's the phrase that I had a professor who used. He calls it gold coins. When you're telling a story, you want to drop gold coins that will catch the audience's attention or will make them even more interested in the story itself. So when writing a story, remember, in the lead, the intro, you kind of want to lead them into it, tease them. Don't give them too much information. But, you know, give them just enough that they want to keep watching. And during the story itself, give them something they've never seen before or they might not know. That's the key to successful storytelling. Telling the audience something that they don't already know. Remember, when you're doing a story on a basketball player, try to have footage of that basketball player. It's called B-roll. You'll run that over the interview so that way the audience can see what you're talking about. You can make your video match your audio. You can try to find this footage on a satellite dish or a server at your TV station or... You know, some maybe the high school basketball coach has footage of this guy. So try to have footage of whatever it is you're talking about because it only enhances your storytelling. When you can match the audio to the video, you can tell a successful story because then the audience can see what you're talking about. They don't have to rely on your words. They can see it. The proof is in the video. So remember that. Successful storytelling, lead them in. Give them something they don't already know. Have them have video so they can match the audio so they can see it as well. And be, be quick, be precise, and be accurate. That's how you successfully write a story.